All right, guys, I am so hyped right now. I'm getting in my car and about to drive two and a half hours to Columbus, Ohio to go see my favorite EDM artist in the entire world, Troy Boy. I actually made an entire post about why he's my favorite and just how his sound is so special. And, uh, you know, you can go back and check that out. But this video is going to be me showing you kind of what all I experienced while I was there. You're not going to be able to see everything because I'm not filming everything. Straight up, I'm just by myself going just me nobody to film so i'll film a little bit here and there to have something for this video but mainly i'm just going to have a fucking good time i haven't went to a rave since january of 2022 i've been to one at least every single year since 2017 when i went to my first one and almost didn't go to one in 2023 but when i saw troy boy was coming nearby i couldn't miss it because he is just such a huge artist he's from the uk so he's not over here all the time and I just love his music. Um, so I'm about to head out for this drive. It's about 5 p.m. It's absolutely gorgeous out. You know, it's no rain, nothing like that. But uh, by the time I get there, it'll be right before it starts at 8 p.m. That'll give me time to eat some of the food I've packed um, and get, you know, my shoes changed and stuff like that. But it is going to be so crazy because it's not just Troy Boy, it's Mr. Carmack and Stooky Sound, which you may not know who they are, but I'm telling you now, they are on par with like this amazing sound that Troy Boy has. They're not as good as him, obviously. He's like the best of the best in my opinion, but they're like one tier down below and their sound is similar to his and they got really just a great vibe. So it's going to be a great night, especially start at 8 p.m. and go to around midnight. Um, and then after the show, I'm going to drive straight back home because I'm not paying for Airbnb or a hotel. I don't have anybody up there I can stay with for free. So I'm just going to uh, tough it out like I've done before. I've done this many times before and I you know, I make it back, except for this will be my first trip in my Lincoln, my first long road trip. I haven't driven it outside of the city at all. So I don't know what the gas mileage is going to be like. Hopefully it's better than when I get in the city. Um, but I really am looking forward to the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist features. Cause I kind of have used those a little bit here and there, but not for a long duration to where like it really shows its benefits. So I'm excited about that. Um, but for now I'm going to hit the road. And I'll catch up with you whenever I make it to the Blue Stone in Columbus, Ohio. So it is 7.36. I officially have arrived at the Blue Stone. Um, the doors don't open until 8, so I have a little bit to just, you know, relax for a bit. I just took a piss. Um, and when I got here, the parking lot that I've parked in multiple times in the past for free, it's part of the church, part of the Blue Stone, uh, they were charging $10 to park at it. And I'm just like... I almost did it. I looked at my wallet. I only had $5 cash because I didn't expect to spend any cash at all while I was here. And uh, so I'm like, fuck it, man. Just I'm getting out of here. I'm not paying for shit. Um, so I went literally right behind the parking lot and there's free street parking. So I don't understand why anyone would pay $10 when they could park right here for free. That's the benefit of getting here early. If I had gotten here later, these spots probably wouldn't have been here. And I'll probably have been looking for some place to park, but I just found a place right away. And uh, yeah, so I'm about to right now go get my trunk, change my shoes because I was wearing slides when I drive. Um, and I'm going to eat some food that I've got packed. I got a PB&J, which isn't healthy, but it gives me something in my stomach. It's got peanut butter. I love peanut butter. And it's just, you know, it'll be enough. And then I've got, I've got another one for after the show. And then I've got a couple of like bars, like protein bars, um, like nut bars, shit like that. So I've got food, um, I've got drinks, I'm gonna drink. Actually, I'm about to eat an edible is what I'm about to do. I about forgot, honestly. Um, so yeah, after I eat one of these, actually, I'm gonna eat two of them. I'm gonna go hard tonight and I'll have one for the ride back and uh, should be a good night. I can't wait. Uh, I'll try to get some footage of the church itself because it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I made it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, it's finally eight o'clock. We're gonna go over there to the church. Got the car parked right here. And the parking lot's literally right there that they try to get me to pay for. Hell no. Here we are. Blue stone.
talk to the guy that owns this car. He's got these sick ass red wheels. It's dope, red mirrors, red stripes, sick Corvette. All right, I just left the rave and my ears are ringing. It's only 11.17. I left a little early because I'm just fucking tired. Like, I know I gotta get on the road, <laughs> but that was a lot of dancing and Troy Boy is fucking sick. It was, a, it was sick. I mean, I'm just tired, so I gotta drive home. So I guess I'll be home in two and a half hours. Let's see, one, we'll be home just before two, most likely. All right, it's 2.20. I just made it home and I am fucking exhausted. I'm so tired. I was barely able to even make it, but I did. And uh, now I'm about to get in bed. So we'll recap everything tomorrow after I've rested. Oh, goodness. I am tired. This is the next morning, Sunday morning. It's almost 11 a.m. already. And thought I would just recap everything that happened last night and discuss how I enjoyed it or if I even enjoyed it. Um, so first I will say that I had a lot of fun dancing and getting to see one of my favorite artists. Troy Boy was great. Um, there was a ton of people there. It was crazy. Um, and it was a good time. But there's a few things about it that I will say that I think I already knew, but now I know for sure. Um, and number one is that raves just aren't what they were to me when I first started going to them in 2017. For one, I was younger. It was brand new to me, so I was always super excited about it. Now, it's just not as fun straight up i mean it's still a lot of fun don't get me wrong but it's not as fun like before it was like oh my god i want to do this all the time now it's like yeah i can do this once a year if that and like i'll be all right um so there's that but i also i feel like i just get you know tired i'm just not as energetic as i was at it i mean i still have plenty of energy i can still get a lot of stuff done in my day to day but when it comes to going to a rave, like I don't want to just dance for five hours straight, like a hundred percent as hard as I can go. Like it's just too much. Um, but then on top of all of that, the drive home, that was fucking miserable. <laughs> I don't ever want to do that again. Lee, I left there at like 1130 and I didn't get home till a little bit after two. I was fucking so tired the entire drive. Like having to like keep myself awake and like afraid I was going to fall asleep. Luckily I didn't fall asleep. I hit the, you know, the sides where like the, the noise happens on when your wheels hit it goes or whatever. I hit that a couple times, but I didn't like get close to having any accident or anything. And it was no cars anywhere. So, um, it was a casual drive, but at the same time, very stressful because I'm like just trying to stay awake. I mean, I was like, 30 minutes away from home at one point. I remember being like, I hope I fucking just make it. Like, I'm so tired right now. So I don't think I'm ever going to do that again. So if I ever go to another rave, it's going to be somewhere where I'm actually staying overnight. Or I just won't go. Um, because if I'm going to see my favorite artist, and like I'm like, eh, this isn't really worth it. I don't need to do this all the time. Then it, that really is just a huge alert that like, hey, you've went to 24 different raves now. I think you've been to plenty. Um, you may not need to go to them anymore, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's just me, my personal opinion about what I thought about going. Um, it was a great show, like I said, in a great place, everything went smoothly, but it was exhausting and, uh, it felt like work more than just leisurely activity. It was both, but it felt a lot more like work than it should have. Um, but I'm going to try to recover today, get out and do some work, um, I'm a little sore, but not super sore. I mean, I mean, I've been working out, so I've been training for that, but doing a bunch of cardio, it's just, it's a lot. Four hours of it, especially. I think I got there too early, to be honest, because these are the beginning, like, acts were just not playing anything I knew, so I'm just, like, dancing and like, vibing a little bit and just waiting for Troy Boy, which was not until 11, and I got there at 8, so I was tired by the time he got out there. I didn't even last half his set. Um, but yeah, I made it home safely. The trip was good. And it might be my last rave in a while, but at least I gotta go see Troy Boy. Alright, thanks for watching the video and I uh, appreciate you being here. I'll catch you in another video soon. Peace.